now how a dimension table looks like let's let's talk about one by one let's talk about year table okay how a dimension table will be in the real time dim underscore year it's a table name okay and this table will have year id year name okay you have one you can have you yeah, let's say for example okay one two thousand one two two thousand two three two thousand three four two thousand four okay same same thing with quarter actually okay let's go to region table here and region table will also look like dim underscore region this will have region id region name okay region id will be starting with 10 asia pacific north america latin america emia so these are the regions summarize let's go to brand you have uh, same table called dim underscore brand you have brand id brand name 100 you let's talk about shoes one of one nike puma adidas you have reebok so these are the different dimension tables with these data i have so do you see any common column which joins these tables it's yeah. I between these three tables what i have created just now do you see any common columns available in these tables to join them mm. no where no where do you see a common column? No. So if I join these three tables, it will be a cross join. Am I right? Yes. There is no common data. You cannot see a meaningful data if I join these three tables. Is it true or false? True. True. Yeah. So these are all dimensions. If I join all the dimensions, and you can see, observe here dimension table will have always primary keys the data will not be repeated in dimension tables look at it everything is unique it's not repeating again and again am i right mm. yeah so we need to join this dimension table with fact table and the fact table may be for this project it is fact underscore sales how fact underscore sales look like you have year id region id brand id cost profit revenue discount so now what it will be here you have one you have ten hundred let's say in 2001 in Asia Pacific for Nike the cost of a shoe is $200 and profit you got is let's say for example $50 I'm just giving an example here revenue generated $250 or something you know? discount you have given is $5 this is our table so next you have same year id for a different region for same brand it may be 250 dollars you have got 45 dollars it may be 295 or something 
we have given ten dollars discount here. You understand? So it starts with two, two, three, three, four again, then one, two. So the data in the fact table always repeated. It will have all the measures inside it. Look at it. These are measures, right? These are the KPIs. Mm -hmm. These are the numbers. So if I create a report with only dimension, it will it will be a nonsense. It won't make any sense. Here, if I join these three dimensions with this fact table, the year ID join with year ID table, year table, and get the year dimension. Region ID join with region table, and brand ID join with brand table, and get the past profit revenue. Let's say, for example, if my report created only on the fact table, it won't make any sense to end user because this report may be viewed by finance vice president. He don't know what is. Hundred brand ID. You don't know what is ten region ID. You mm. should see their attack. You should see their what is the night. Am I right? Yes. So you need to yes. join this fact table and with dimension tables to get the descriptions. Makes sense. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So this it is going to be a meaningful report. Remember always. You need to create a report on fact, and this fact table will join with dimensions to show a meaningful data. Is it clear? Okay. Always you create yeah. report on uh, fact table because you have measures on facts only, right? Yeah. Why do you create a report? You need to see the numbers, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. So to see the numbers, you need to hit the fact table. And to make it as a meaningful report, that fact table join with dimension table. Got it? Mm. So now you will have fact table in center. Three dimension tables will be joining with that. It is called as star schema. What is that? Star schema. Yeah. Yes. You got it. So this is nothing but a star schema. Now, now, I have a region table, year table, brand table. I'm I'm just seeing a high level data here. Basically, I want to see day level data, city level data, item level data. So I need to show the data at that level. Am I right? Mm. Mm. Hello. Yeah. Now I need to yeah. have those tables. How a how a quarter table will be? Can anyone tell me? Quarter one two three. Quarter number. No, I just want to know the columns of the table. Quarter name. Quarter ID. Quarter ID should be there. Quarter name then. Am I right? Yeah. Yeah. Am I right? Yes. Two zero one Q one for two zero one year. Two zero zero one. Zero two two zero zero one quarter two two zero one. You understand the year ID in quarter table is a foreign mm -hmm. key, right? Am I right? Yeah. This year ID is a foreign key here, primary key here. Is it true? Mm -hmm. Yes. It should be one and. Am I right? This will join with this to get the data. Am I right? Yeah. Yeah. So this is how you need to create the data. 
you don't need to create this kind of data and just explaining you to understand how a data warehousing data and projects will be. So you need to create a report at year level, quarter level, month level and date level also. Okay. Yeah. So I just want to close it here. Mm -hmm. So meanwhile, I'll just tell you to just go ahead and look at the a site called. Can you see my screen? Yes. Look at this site. You have SQL tutorial here. You now basic. I want you to go through with data warehousing concepts here. Okay. okay? Talks about each and every definition. Don't buy hard these things. You will never use it. Okay. So it talks about data warehousing concepts, everything, and how it looks like. What is the dimension? What is the fact? Everything here. Make sense? Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. So how a fact table looks like? How a dimension table looks like? I was explaining you about star schema, right? This is what a star schema. Yes. A fact table will be joining with three, four different dimension tables. Mm -hmm. This is at a high level. Tomorrow I will be talking about snowflake schema. These dimensions are split. Like let's say this is a year table. This will join with quarter, quarter will join with month, month will join with date. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Look at it. Yeah. It will mm -hmm. be here. This is our snowflake scheme. Okay. Mm -hmm. You see this? Yes. Mm -hmm. So just go through with this particular thing. It's called as one key data dot com. Okay. Mm -hmm. I do have a okay. lot of other sites which will help you out for your interview and other thing. Just mm -hmm. go through with these things. Probably uh, we'll start micro strategy after Christmas. Okay. I think these guys have already told you I will not be taking a class on 26. Okay. Yes. Yes. So we will have after I mean probably on 27. Okay.